and welcome to episode number three of this Women's World Championship playthrough. And we're on the main menu here because we're going to check out the standings here. The standings are somewhat hard to believe uh, considering uh, the history of women's hockey. Uh, Team Canada, we lost our first game, but we won our second game for three points. But Team USA has yet to win a game through two games. So that is huge for us. And we're about to take on Team Switzerland, who is undefeated so far. Um, if you saw the women's first game of the Olympics, you'll know that they defeated Team Switzerland 12-1, to thanks to a great game from Sarah Fillier, at least at the start of the game. I kind of fell asleep halfway through. It was an 11 p.m. Eastern start. Um, in terms of stats for us, you'll see Brianne Jenner leading the way with six goals. Renata Fass, four points. There's Sarah Fillier, the uh, player I was just talking about who had the first two goals for the women in the Olympic game against Switzerland. She only has two assists for us so far. Um, but I'm just going to go to the bottom of the screen here because you'll see Marie-Philippe Poulain, Natalie Spooner, our top line, Sarah Nurse, no points and minus. So looking to get a little bit more out of them here in this game against the Swiss. It's a big game, and let's play it right now. Uh, we're, let's wear the, yeah, let's wear the reds today. Love the, oh, or the uh, Canadian jersey in this game. Uh, let's go to edit lines and strategies here just to see who we can get in net to start. In the last game, we started Campbell, and she was fantastic. Um, but I, I do think we should go back to Anne Renee Desbins because she did start the first game of the Olympics against Switzerland. So let's go back to her now. Wearing my Olympic sweater here, long sleeve shirt, whatever you want to call it. Um... Yeah, so uh, I've seen a lot of things on the internet about EA Sports and the women being added to the game. One of the main complaints so far is that women's teams cannot play against men's teams, uh, which is kind of unbelievable to me. Um, the women's players also aren't in the Hockey Ultimate Team, which I suggested in the last episode should be an easy addition to the game um and yeah and lots of people complaining that the goalies don't wear masks which is my biggest complaint so far in this tournament spooner with a shot off of the faceoff win from marie philippe poulin and we're underway here's a chance in front and there's a goal from jocelyn larock it's one nothing canada less than a minute in to this game If you saw the first episode of this series, you'll know that we got off to an incredibly slow start. Allowing six goals in a row against Finland. We battled back to get to 6-4. But we were not able to come all the way back. Ended up losing that game, of course. And um, have been trying to get our game back in better shape here as we approach the end of the round robin portion of the tournament. And uh, yeah, just trying to get this first line going here. Uh, maybe I should break it up and go with the Phil the Spoon line, uh, which is uh, happening in the Olympics. There's a weird bounce. Um, the Phil the Spoon line is Sarah Fillier. There's a shot, nice stop by Desbian. Um, the Phil the Spoon line has uh, Natalie Spooner, Melanie Daoud. There's a shot and a goal from Marie-Philippe Poulain. Oh, that's a long time coming. Nice shot there. A snipe over the top of the glove from the captain. Look at the flex on that stick. Right over. I thought it was the glove, but I think it was right over the shoulder on the blocker side of the Swiss goalie. 
And it is 2 nothing for Canada here. Nice to see that Marie-Philippe Poulain was able to get on the score sheet here. Here's Sarah Fillier in the corner. With Jenner, who's been our best player so far. Brianne Jenner has. And she's got the puck now. I said in the last episode, I love the speed that Brianne Jenner's got on her in this game. And Jenner's going to funnel that putt back. Tried to get it to Fillier there. Actually tried to get it around all the way. I think that's Melanie Daus, uh in the corner there. Um, she suffered an injury in the first game against Switzerland of the, in the Olympics. So hopefully she'll be able to come back. That's a big loss for Team Canada. Here's Daus, And she takes a shot that goes wide. Sarah Fillier is in. Sarah Fillier tries to cut to the front of the net. Can't get there. She's covered well there by the goal or by the defenseman. Tried to pass off to Brianne Jenner there. Unable to get it there. Jenner, look at that hard work by Jenner in the corner. But she's unable to come away with the puck. Yeah, as I was saying, if we can't get that top line going, maybe we'll have to go with that Phil Les Spoon line. Uh, Melanie Daoust, Melody Daoust, um, Sarah Fillier, and Natalie Spooner. We'll just have to wait and see here. This third line has also been good for us with Rebecca Johnston, Emily Clark, and Jill Sonye. Um, yeah, another one of the complaints that a lot of people have had for this EA Sports video game is the fact that it seems as though a lot of these player ratings are based on, you know, their skills and, skills and statistics from previous, the last Olympics, which was four years ago. And that there's been a lot of players who have come up, like the aforementioned Sarah Fillier, uh, who have developed their skills and should be rated higher. There's always complaints about ratings in EA Sports, but uh, if um, you know you're not taking into consideration how well the women are performing, there's a shot in front and a nice goal there from Jill Sonye. It's three nothing Canada here. This is turning in to a route here early. Kind of like the Olympic game. But yeah, like I was saying, it's, it, it would be nice if, you know, it appeared as though they played, paid closer attention to, you know, how women are performing, you know, now as opposed to four years ago. Because obviously you're going to be a lot better player or have different skills in your game after four years of time. And here's Sarah Nurse cutting in. Oh, she's checked there at the last minute or else she had a clear shot there to get on the board in this tournament. A lot better start here for the women in game number three, especially this top line. Here's Marie-Philippe Poulain in. Poulain. Same shot as the last time where she scored, but this time it stopped. And it's Spooner behind the back of the net. She's going to move the puck to Poulain. Back behind the net to Sarah Nurse. Sarah Nurse pinned along the boards to Poulain. Poulain in. Backhand shot is turned aside there by the Swiss goalie who's going to move it. We're in the last minute of play here in the first period. The women have a 3 0 lead here for Team Canada. It's been a strong period. Not a lot of chances for the Swiss women. But they'll have a chance here as an icing call with 7.3 seconds left is going to give them an opportunity to get a quick shot off of a face-off win here. And they win the face-off. Are they going to get into the net? They do. It's turned aside by Desbian. And that'll do it. A great first period here for the Canadian women. And I think the story of note through the first period is the fact that Marie-Philippe Poulain is finally on the board. We'll have to see if we can get Spooner or Sarah Nurse on the board here as we go on in the last two periods. Brianne Jenner, who has six goals in this tournament through the first two games, was silent there in the first period. Sarah Nurse had a step there, but she goes just ever so slightly offside. Uh, I believe the second game for the women is actually going to be happening tonight. So it would probably be after this video is posted. Um, 
Marie Philippe Poulain, by the way, was the flag bearer, co flag bearer with Charles M. Lan, um, the short track speed skater, and that happened in the opening ceremonies last night in China. There's a nice play by Spooner to steal the puck. Spooner in and fires it wide. Sarah Nurse collects the puck. Sarah Nurse, the shot. Spooner there looking for the rebound in her office in the front of the net. And she's unable to bury it there. But a nice forecheck here. Spooner's going to come away with the puck again. Spooner and Nurse. It's finally turned over. And Stadler's going to come away with the puck there. She's one of the best forwards for Team Switzerland. We're going to try and stretch it out here with Sarah Nurse straight up the middle. Sarah Nurse with Poulin. Kind of got covered there, and it's going to go over to Jocelyn LaRock, back to Poulin behind the net. Poulin's looking to come out in front, can't find a lane. Now she does. Oh, but she's just bumped ever so slightly there by Lehman, and that puck's going to get turned over. And here come the Swiss, back into the zone. Weak shot there. It was deflected by Aaron Ambrose. Nice job there. And we're going to find Spooner. Spooner to Dau. Out in front. Brianne Jenner was there. But her pocket was picked at the very last second. Playing that EA Sports horizontal hockey there. There's another turnover and there's Brianne Jenner. She's got a step. Brianne Jenner in. Scores. Seventh goal of the tournament for Brianne Jenner. Goes to the backhand. Beats the Swiss goalie off of a Brutal turnover in front of the net. Look out, here comes the big rig, as EA Sports would say. I don't I still don't know what that means. Love the effort, and it's 4-0 here for the Canadian women. Looking to add on here. I'm not sure if the tiebreaker is goal differential. Um, but you oh man. There's a tic-tac-toe play. And Team Switzerland's going to get on the board, responding very quickly to that Brianne Jenner goal. Shannon Sigrist with her first goal of the tournament. Um, yeah, like I was saying, not sure if that's going to be the tiebreaker as goal differential, but um, if each team has three wins and a loss... It could very well come down to the tiebreaker. There's a turnover there, forced ever so slightly, just for a second there. Not sure what the Swiss player was doing, coming all the way back into her own zone. But now the Canadian women collect the puck. It's Brianne Jenner again. Brianne Jenner with speed. Gets bumped off the puck. It comes loose for a second. There's Segrist again moving that puck. She moves it up to the center ice line. Back and forth, here come the Swiss again. Looking to get back to within two. Here's Emily Clark. Emily Clark's in with speed. She moves around in front. Chance there is turned aside. And that's going to be a quick one and done. And here's Melody Daoust. In front, she's knocked off the puck. Josanie looking to get there. Cannot. And the Swiss will come away with the puck again. We're doing a great job here of keeping them either in their own zone or forcing the turnover at the line. Here's Stacy. Stacy's a little bit slower, it feels, but she's going to come away at the puck here. Stacy up to Melody Daoust. Behind the net for Sarah Turnbull. In front, Daoust! Turned aside there. That was a brutal turnover. And here comes Ensler over to Zimmerman. Zimmerman walks in, stopped by Desbian. Moving that puck up. Thompson is through with Melody Daoust. She's got a girl going to the net. Backhand shot, Stacy turned aside there. And back come the Swiss. And it's turned over there for the Canadians. And it's shot wide of the net. Here's the Swiss. The most pressure they've had in this game so far. And trying to get this puck out of the zone here. We're in the last minute of the play. We're in the last couple of seconds there. There's Stacy turning the puck over. 
at the end of the period. We get it out of the zone. A better period there for the Swiss. But it's still 4-1. And uh, we're going to go to the third period here, out shooting the Swiss 15 to 7. Still haven't gotten Spooner on the scoreboard here. As I mentioned in the first episode, she has been my favorite player for a while. Um, she used to. Oh! Oh man. Just getting a little bit worried there. She made an appearance on Tim and Sid after winning a gold medal in the. Um, I believe it was the Sochi Olympics and uh, she's been pretty well my favorite player ever since and um, so I'd like to see if I can get her on the scoreboard here into the zone it's the Swiss again they've applied a lot of pressure here of late but I haven't got many shots towards the net And here we go, breaking that puck out. No, it's turned over. I had Poulin breaking away there. Thought I was going to be able to get her the puck, but I was unable to. Here's Sarah Fillier. Sarah Fillier, drag it. Oh, the drag. It was a rebound shot there, and it's Marie-Philippe Poulin with her second goal of the game. Marie-Philippe Poulin stayed out there a little bit longer. Look at how Sarah Fillier just boxes out the defender there. Let's go into the instant replay here one second and check this out because this is a great box out here that allows Marie-Philippe Poulin to bury the puck. So here comes Fillier in the zone with the puck. I tried to drag it and it didn't really work. But I got the shot off with the rebound and then... Fillier just boxes out her woman here, allowing Poulin to get the shot and the goal for Poulin's second of the game. Let's try and get a nice screenshot here. Hard to hard to get a get a good screenshot when there's a person in the way. There we go. Perfect. Wide open net there for Poulin. She made no mistake. Burying that for her second goal of the game. 5-1 here for the Canadian ladies. And here comes Jenner. She won the face off. And that shot's going to go off a woman in front of the net and into the corner. And into the zone here come the Swiss and we're gonna force a turnover. Renetta fast. Not sure if she's got any points in this game but she finds Melanie Daoud here. Daoust in. And I'm not sure if it was poke checked. I think it was. But somehow the puck did not get to the net there. Uh, Sarah Fillier is knocked there and she leaves the puck behind. Halfway to go left in this third period. Canadian women are looking to get a huge three points here that would put them at the top of the group standings in a tie with Switzerland. So this last 10 minutes or so is very important to say the least. So we just want to keep them in their own zone here. I mean, obviously the goal is probably to try and get Poulin the hat-trick, but uh, secondary goal is to win the game, of course. I guess that's probably the primary goal. Let's, let's be real. Here's Joe Sonia and shot scores. She had a wide open top corner. The Swiss goalie kind of lost her position there. And Jill Sonia gets her second goal of the night. Absolutely clapping it past the Swedish netminder. Picks the top corner. It's 6 1 here for the Canadian women. 
And we're just going to play smart hockey, dumping it in and chasing the puck. Here's Stacy on the puck. Stacy makes a move. What a move there to get free. Stacy the backhand shot. Fourth line shift here for the Canadian women. Got to just play smart hockey here. Oh! As I say that out loud, one of the best scoring chances in a while. That puck's going to come all the way back into the Canadian zone. Or I should say the Swiss zone with the Canadians forechecking. Nice hit there to free up the puck. It's Sarah Nurse coming in with speed. Does she have enough speed to get there? She does not. And the Swiss are going to come away with the puck. Sarah Nurse still looking for her first goal of the tournament. And there's a nice play by the Swiss to beat Desbien for their second goal of the game. Lisa Rudy. I'm going to try and guess her pronunciation on her name. That looks about right. First line winger for the Swiss team scores. It's her third goal of the tournament. Tried to pass it up there to Mary Philippe Pouin off the faceoff. Did not work. Here's Sarah Nurse and Sarah Nurse fires it wide. Sarah Nurse is, of course, I believe the official relation is cousins to Darnell Nurse of the Edmonton Oilers and Kia Nurse, who is. Uh, has women's basketball fame. There's a shot over the top of the net. Also trying to get Spooner a goal here. Get her on the board here. We're in the last minute of the play here. Don't think the Swiss are gonna try to pull their goalie, but you never know. Here's Marie-Philippe Poulain. Poulain in. Shot turned aside. Looking for the hat trick. Poulain. In front? No. I think that was Spooner there. Kind of lost her positioning there, going in behind the net. That's okay, though. Back in. Come the women. And that shot is stopped. Nice glove save there. 18.9 seconds left in this game. It looks like the Canadian women are going to improve to 2-1 and one in this tournament. With a huge game upcoming against the United States. So tune into that episode, the next episode, to see what happens there. Here's Brianne Jenner. Brianne Jenner. Looking for a woman in front of the net. Just goes with the backhand shot. Melody Daus was there. It's turned aside, though. But that's all she wrote on this one. The Canadian women have come through with a huge game against Team Switzerland, who was first in the group coming into this game. Huge performance by the captain, Marie-Philippe Poulain, in this episode. And of course, Jill Sagne with, with two goals as well. Can't forget to mention her. All in all, a great performance despite the fact that they're showing a Swiss highlight there. And, uh, yeah, the next game against the United States of America is going to be huge. So tune in for that one. And if you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you really like it, and I'll see you guys in episode number four.